Rick's Talk Time. Hello and welcome to Rick's Talk Time. As a spark, I don't want to spend my days whittling down the end of a square pencil, which is often seen by them wood butchers. But as an electrician, we're a bit more advanced than that. So this week, I've been back down to our local wholesalers, Oldfields in Skipton. And while I was down there, there was a box full of green items that caught my attention. And no, it wasn't the Marksman, which we have previously reviewed on the channel. It was a little bit more advanced than that. So here we have it, it's the Pika Pencil, or to give you its full name, it's the Pika Dry Automatic Long Life Pencil. Let's take a look at this. The pencil comes with a handy holster which grips the pencil very well, even if you go out of your way to try and make it fly out. The holster also doubles up as a pencil sharpener, so your marking should always be on point. The clip on the side of the barrel holds onto clothing or even your pocket extremely well. In fact, it's a bit of a pain at the end of the day when you're trying to take it off and store it away. Moving on to the pencil itself, the material feels solid, so it shouldn't be breaking anytime soon. There is a slender section to the front which will allow you to get into all types of nooks and crannies and mark them deep holes. Now to the piece de resistance. With the pencil, it allows for a number of leads to be used. These are the water-soluble multi-use lead, which can be used on most materials which are dry, wet, also used on surfaces which are glossy, rough, dusty or oily, such as marking up brickwork through an outdoor rated junction box, marking up the cut line of a plastic conduit or even the face of a tile. You can even see how we've used the red lead to mark up the steel trunking with the famous Eddie Clemens trunking template. Next we have a water jet resistant lead and a special summer heat lead which are stable up to 70 degrees C or as we like to say around these parts, cracking flags. Then finally your graphite lead which most of you will be familiar with for marking up timber when we electricians like to dabble in a bit of joinery fixing them supports for the back boxes. All leads are approximately 2.8 millimeters in diameter so this should keep... <laughs> this is getting where it's going isn't it? Wow. <laughs> All leads are approximately 2.8 millimeters in diameter so this should keep your lead in your pencil stronger for longer. Talking of longer, the lead is 125 millimeters in length, so you're good for a small novel on the back of the consumer unit or leaving handy notes for the other trades who always like to help you out. To change the leads in the pencil, you simply need to remove the cap at the top and slide in whichever lead you require. Then press it a few times and away you go. You can store the leads in a handy container. Then finally, so the pencil doesn't keep rolling off the table, there is a small lip which prevents the pencil from rolling around onto the floor. So to summarise, I think this is a great product. I can switch between leads and always have a reliable pencil marker. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but it's worth it for that single unit. No more hunting around for a knife. Few simple clicks and we're off again. However, I know what the biggest drawback for me will be. When someone asks to borrow it, I may as well say goodbye because I'm not remembering to ask for it back. But what does it matter what I think? Is it great or is it a gimmick? Let me know and get your votes in. Until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Ta-da.